is the trellis to make you jealous. If you have perused YouTube gardening channels for a long time, you know that there is this viral video called Trellis to Make You Jealous. It's by Josh Satin, who has a camera channel as well as having a farming channel. And he's a very smart guy. I've seen some of his live streams. I've followed some of his videos. I subscribed. I said, I like this guy. I like the way he thinks. And he has done the hard work of market gardening and has had the same issues with trellises that I've had. That sometimes a trellis does great and sometimes it doesn't. This trellis cost nothing. It's made from saplings that I chopped down out of the woods. You can make something like this out of sticks. Little teepee trellis. Is it gonna last multiple seasons? Maybe. One of you guys said I should burn the bottoms of all the sticks so they're charred and they last longer. Okay, that's smart. There's probably a lot of ways that you could upgrade and make more and more awesome stick trellises. Like the primitive technology guy, I'm sure he's like built entire cathedrals out of sticks. But this sort of thing, compared to this sort of thing, this is gonna last a really, really long time. This is gonna last, well, it's in its third year and it's um, the only deterioration that it's got is some of these have started to sag. So let's talk about how it's made. T-post and a PVC T. I believe this is a one and a quarter PVC T. And then you've got your uh, half inch galvanized conduit and there are joints on the conduit, which you can't really see in here. But this sits on top of it. Every 10 feet, you put a T-post, you have a 10 foot piece of galvanized, and there is a little joint inside, which screws together and holds the two together. And then you can pull this whole thing down really easily, particularly if you have a T-post puller, and set it up again like we did. When we moved, we just yanked the whole system down and I had my boys go and set it up again. It works exceedingly well. And it is robust enough that it has handled, um, it's handled uh, climbing squashes. It is handling yams right now. These are Dioscoria species. It has handled pole beans and it's done great. There's a little bit of sag on some of these guys and they have gotten a little saggy, but I think I could probably just bend them back if I wanted to. It's not like they're gonna just fall apart on me. They've never fallen. And I have put a lot of, I've put a lot of yams on these. The yams get heavy and they're really robust and one of these vines can get like 40 or 50 feet long over a season and they just make this big mass and the whole thing is pulling down but not falling apart. This would probably pull over most stick trellises. This is really strong and it has the benefit of just being single posts which they have those little wings on the bottom of them so they stay really, really tightly where you put them compared to stick teepees which don't necessarily do that well. And I find that the system being modular, easy to assemble from a hardware store if you were in the United States, if I was in the West Indies, or some of you folks uh, living in nations other than the United States, you're gonna have a hard time finding all these parts. The galvanized conduit is not necessarily easy to find. Some places they don't run this. And T-posts were impossible to find when we were in the West Indies. People kept saying, why don't you use cattle panels? Why don't you use T-posts? I was like, we can't get those. We can't even get wood chips. We have to go out to the jungle and rake up bamboo leaves. That's our mulch. So, you know, depending on your location, but inside of the United States, T-posts are cheap. I recommend picking up a bunch of them because you're going to use them for all kinds of projects and get them before they disappear because they do disappear sometimes and just grab them when you see them and have them because they last a really, really long time. Um, and the, the galvanized and these are, are easy to find as well. So to set up something like this just takes a few minutes. Um, you hammer your T-posts in at exactly 10 foot, just set your measuring tape at 10 feet and then bam, 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 put them in and because this is modular, you know, you can put two of them up, you could put one of them up, but it gets really easy. I mean, see, I got one, two, three, four, five down this long row, and that'll be growing a ton of yams. And this time I'm doubling the yams. Last time I had them single and they were pulling it down. We'll see how they do on double. This is the extreme stress test, Josh. See this, we're extremely stress testing this. My kids have also swung on these, which I've, I've stopped, the, the smaller kids. Um, they, they like to like, oh, look, you put one up, you know, uh, but they've not broken it. And I, I, uh, I really like this system. Now, downsides of the system, it is expensive to put together compared to cutting sticks. 
It's very fast to put together. It's pretty easy to put together, but it kind of gets expensive because you're looking at, you know, a few bucks for this and a few bucks for that. The joints, these pieces, these pieces, these are over a dollar each. Um, I don't remember what I paid for these, but they were, they were not super cheap and the T-posts were like 10 bucks or something. So um, each section of it is probably going to cost you like $35 every 10 feet or something like that. So if you were doing a lot of them, that would get expensive. But as for other trellising options, I don't see a lot that would be affordable. Um, the other thing about this system is that it is ugly. So it's, it's, I mean, if you like brutalist modern design, if you like it when they take an old cathedral and they just shove a bunch of glass and steel through it and they have like some sort of weird twisted torso made out of, you know, hunks of uh, broken airplanes, if you love that, this is pretty good, but it's probably not vile enough. It just, it has that industrial, you know, urban thing. This is a farm production system. It is not pretty. Like if you're the type that likes wattle fences and woven bamboo and pretty stick trellises, I love the pretty stick trellises. I would kind of like to do everything, even my old fence and stuff with, you know, all kinds of like woven willows and stuff like that. So it looks like we're in the Shire. That would be my ideal garden. But I also had to really get food in the ground. And so three years on something that doesn't fall apart, I could put up with it looking a little bit ugly and we're living with it. And once it's covered with everything, it looks pretty nice. You know, I mean, there's nothing like a giant teepee of yams. It's really cool. So uh, I would give it five out of five stars. It's easy to build, it's worth doing. Josh Satin is a national treasure. I will put a link to his channel as well so you could go subscribe to him. Um, the video was shared with me actually by my landlord um, three years ago and he's like, you got to see this guy's trellis system. And I'm like, ah, I've seen trellis systems, I, you know, and then I looked at it, I was like, oh, that's really fun. I'm totally going to build that. And I'm glad I did. It's worth doing. So check out Josh and uh, the trellis to make you jealous. Very cool system. Very worthwhile. Very good for a production. Easy to take down, easy to set up easy to acquire, and it lasts forever. Catch you all next time. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe and all that stuff. And until next time, may your thumbs always be green.